Jesus Christ, we bless you, Apostle, and God bless you too. Amen, amen. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Apostle, I hope you are getting ready for Valentine. <laughs> Oh. You do nothing impossible with All right, good evening to every one of you and welcome to today's Bible study. Praise God. It is my prayer that God uses this channel to bless your life and increase you today as I'm continuing our study from last week. Greater to be successful. I pray that from today. Every curse upon your life will be broken. According to your knowledge and, and your will, you you and your God will bless you and increase you and cause your life to be successful. So much so that you bless others in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. What is hard for you? It's got never You do not lie, you do not tell. What is hard for you to do? It doesn't exist. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You do not lie, you do not tell. What is hard for you to do? Thank you, Jesus. It's got never exist. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen. Those I know you will trust 
something there. Yes, 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 yes. Apostle, I'll give it with you in a second. I got myself ready. Amen. Hallelujah, Haiti and family, good evening to you, and welcome to today's Bible study. I pray that God will use this to bless every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. If you have just tuned in, good evening to you, and welcome today. We continue our study, created to be successful. Hallelujah. And I pray that the grace of God will come upon your life as you tune in today. May you be a success story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May God use you. May God touch your life. And may God cause you to be successful in every venture that you undertake. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we magnify your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Haiti and family, good evening one more time. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm getting myself really, really ready. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen and amen. Hey, Apostle Prince. How are you doing, Apostle? Thank you for tuning in. I can see you just come on. Amen and amen. I'm getting myself ready. I'll soon be there. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Amen and amen. All right, good evening to you and every one of you. As usual, we want to begin by thanking God for his goodness. We want to thank God for his mercy. Frontliners, good evening to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we want to thank you for your love. We want to thank you for your mercy. We want to thank you for your goodness. We want to thank you for all the good things that you have bestowed on us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we bless your name, we honor your name, we magnify your name. We declare that you are God. You are the only God there is. There is no other God. You are the ancient of days. You are Alpha, you are Omega. Omnipotent God, omnipresent God, we give glory to your name. We give honor to your name in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we bring tonight Bible study before you, and we ask for your Holy Spirit, for without your Spirit, we can do nothing. So Lord, touch our hearts, infill us with your Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I avail myself, and I ask that you will speak through me, and you will bless your people through me, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the heart of your children, yea, be prepared and ready to hear your word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rabakataya. I pray for deliverance to take place as your word is coming forth. I pray for the sick to be healed as your word come forth in the name of Jesus. I pray 
that your word will bless your children in Jesus' name. For it is written, you send your word and it heal all our diseases. Father, as your word come forth, let your children be blessed in the name of Jesus. Let them be sanctified in Jesus' name. Let them be strengthened in the name of Jesus. Let them be empowered. Let them be encouraged in the name of Jesus. Those that are down, let your word come to lift them up in the name of Jesus Christ. To you, God, be the glory. To you, God, be the honor in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, let healing take place. Let marriages yeah, be amended and renewed in Jesus' mighty name. Let provision be granted to your children. Whoever is seeking you, whoever is looking, yeah, in a way to be blessed. Father, bless them, bless them, bless them, bless them, bless them. In the name of Jesus, I give you glory. I give you honor in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Now, to everyone out there, good evening to you. And welcome on board. Sister Janet, good evening. Amma Salina, good evening. Naomi, good evening. Uh, Mr. Ebenezer Ato, good evening to you. Pastor Apostle, hallelujah, number two, praise God in Germany. Apostle Prince, good evening to you in the name of Jesus. Apostle Leo from Ghana, good evening to you in the name of Jesus. Please, as you have come on, as usual, uh, press the share button and share. Uh, if we can get many, many people to listen to the gospel, you have done well. The Bible says that God gave his word, Psalm 68 verse 11, and great was the company that helped proclaim it. So as you are sharing, you are also proclaiming the word of God. Praise God. And I believe that as we all share the word of God, one day, one day, we will be blessed by our God. So please don't hesitate at all to, help, to share. As you share, you are spreading the word. Uh, Minister Mary Sapon, good evening to you in the name of Jesus Christ. In fact, the Bible says that, you know, how beautiful are the feet of those who proclaim the word. Did you hear me? That's what God sees you as you share the gospel. Praise God. So please do well to share so that you can be blessed. Now, last week I began a series whereby I spoke about we have been created to be successful. And through the all of us has been created. Sister Jenna and Ponte, good evening to you. Uh, every one of us was created by God to be successful. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, 28, the Bible says that, and the Lord blessed them, hallelujah. And the Bible says that, and God said, be fruitful and multiply, praise God. When you look at that text really carefully, you and I, God commissioned us to be successful. Uh, even when sin came to the world, after the floods, when you read Genesis chapter 9, verse 1, you will see that, and God blessed Noah. And God said to Noah to increase and multiply. Praise God. So we as human beings, we have been created to be successful by our God, praise God. And last week, I defined what success is. And I said that to the world, success, you know, is making money. Success to the people of the world is riches, having cars, and that kind of thing. But to us in the kingdom, through success, praise God, is achieving uh, the purpose that God, you know, created you to be. Because by the end of the day, what is very important is God saying to you, 
well done, good and faithful servant. Praise God. That is what is important. When God sees you and God says, well done, good and faithful servant, that means what you came on planet Earth to do has pleased him. Praise God. So really, true success is accomplishing what you were created to do. Praise God. And that is what this teaching is all about. It is to help you to be successful, to accomplish what God puts in our hearts, praise God, to do while we are here on planet Earth. Wouldn't it be nice that you will be able to accomplish what God you know, put in your heart to do? Praise Jesus. Now, uh, my memory text is from the book of John. Let me read it again. John chapter 19. In the book of John chapter number 19, praise God. This is from what Jesus happened to him. In verse 28, John 19 verse 28, the Bible says, after this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I test. Now notice the word, but after this, after this, Jesus, knowing that all things, in other words, what God put in his heart to do, praise God, and he has been able to do, praise God. In verse 30, says that, so when Jesus has received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And bowing his head, he gave out his spirit. Now we see here that Jesus, our Lord, was able to accomplish what God sent him here on planet Earth to accomplish. And those of you who listened last week, I said that in order for us to be able to accomplish what God has placed on our heart, what God has sent us here on planet Earth to do, praise God, we got to be, we got to be, hallelujah, how you need God on your side, all the side. So number one key that I gave last week is that when God is with you, it is so important if we want to be successful in life, we have to make sure that God is with us. Praise God. When God is with you, you see, uh, the, my, one of my favorite scriptures is what Hannah said in the book of First Samuel chapter 2. Praise God. As you read from verse 6 all the way to 9, Hannah said something really powerful. He said, by strength, no one will prevail. And in fact, that is true in life. By your own ability, by your own strength, you cannot achieve anything unless God be for you. Hallelujah. And if God be for you, according to Romans 8, 31, if God be for you, who can be against you? So if we want to be successful in life, we need God to be on our side. Hallelujah. And I said that in order for God to be on your side, praise God, a life of holiness is really important. Praise God. A life of prayer is really important. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because God will not bless anyone who, 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 who is in sin. So if you want God to be on your side, then a life of holiness, a life of prayer is also really important. Praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Very necessary. It is necessary that you and I, we do that. Praise God. Uh, you can tune in and get last week's message. If you go back on Facebook, you will be there, created to be successful, part one. But I want to move on today so that I can finish. And then last week, I also said that uh, you need to walk in your purpose. Every one of us, God have a purpose for you in life. So 
if you want to be successful, praise God, work in God ordained plan for you. The Bible say all things work together for good, for those who love God and walk according to his purpose. So God has a purpose for you and make sure you identify that work in it, praise God. And as long as you are working in it, eventually it will end you well, praise Jesus. And we also spoke of the fact that you need a vision, hallelujah. And once you find your purpose, you create a vision, you create goals that as you put it all together, you will be able, praise Jesus. Now I want to quickly begin what I want to talk about today. Hallelujah. So point number three, last week I gave two points and point number three that I want to give you today. Number one, if you want to, no, or oh, number three, let me go by number three. Number three, if you want to uh, be successful in life, make sure you put the word of God first place in your life. Now, anyone that have tuned in, uh, I try as much as possible to mention your name. Praise God. If I haven't, uh, please forgive me. Uh, Stephen Foucault, I'm uh, Bernard. Praise God. Uh, good evening to you all. And please do well to share. Do well to share. Praise God. Do well to share. Hallelujah. So if you want to be successful in life, make sure that you put the word of God first place in your life. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? You, if, if you put the word of God first place in your life, then there is no way that you are going to be a failure because the word is God himself. Hallelujah. For you to know the word is God himself. And so once you put the word first place, now in the book of Joshua, Joshua chapter one, praise God. In Joshua chapter one, Joshua was commissioned, was given a purpose. And the purpose God gave to Joshua was that Moses is dead. I need you to lead the children of Israel to conquer the land. We do here. Now, it was a great task really difficult task because the land <laughs> was a place whereby giants were. But let's see what God said to Joshua. Praise God. In, in, in the book of Joshua chapter one, praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, this is God speaking. Uh, in verse number eight, God says, this book of the law, shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night. Praise God. Hallelujah. You shall meditate on it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is within it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success hallelujah so that you will have good success so here god was speaking to uh, uh joshua and he said joshua i know that there's a great task ahead of you but i know you can you can do it hallelujah i know you can accomplish it and as long as you have my word, praise God, as long as you have my word and you learn to do it by my word, you will be successful. And today, if you are listening to me and you want your life to be successful as a Christian, hallelujah. Now notice how the Bible to put, put it. He said, so you can have good success. So that means, not all accomplishment is, is recommended. Hallelujah. There are people in the world, sometimes they will kill, 
sometimes they will they will uh they will kind of uh bypass somebody and be successful temporarily that is not what bible is recommending god is recommending a success so that when you meet him he will say to you good and faithful servant well done and one of the key is making sure that the word of god you live your life by the word hallelujah you run your home by the word of god you run your business by the word of god you run your marriage by the word of god uh, as a child of god you come to church and you make sure even your christian life is based on the word hallelujah it's very important very very important now after all everything that you are now require in this life it is the word of god that will help you to 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 obtain that now we know that one of the powerful things that will help everyone to be successful is wisdom did you hear me but wisdom comes by the word once you have the word of god hallelujah wisdom will follow suit in the book of psalms psalm 119 119 verse 98 as you read it you will see that he says your word have made me wiser hallelujah your word have made me wiser praise god and if your word has made me wiser and you and i need wisdom in order to be successful then the word of god is really important hallelujah the word of god is crucial that you need the word and as the word comes to you as you allow yourself for the word to come to you and you run your life based on the word praise god then the wisdom of God, praise God, will come to you and the wisdom of God will help you to be successful in life. Praise Jesus. In the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, I will read that one. Hallelujah. In, in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 10, Ecclesiastes 10, verse 10, hallelujah. It says that if the ax is dull, and no one does not sharpen the edge, then he must, he must use more strength. You will use more strength. But he said, but wisdom brings success. Wisdom brings success. So if you and I operate in wisdom, praise God, then success will come into our lives. Hallelujah. And, and as wisdom, as I've already said, wisdom comes by the word of God. So if you and I are to be successful in life, then wisdom is really important. And wisdom comes through the word. Hallelujah. Now, in the same word that I'm recommending for you, God was speaking to the children of Israel in the book of Deuteronomy 28, from if you read from verse 1 and 2, hallelujah, God is saying that, okay, let me read it. Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently, praise God, obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully, hallelujah, to observe carefully, all his commandment to do all his command which i command you today that the lord your god will set you high above the nations on the earth and all these blessings shall come and overtake you praise god because you obey the voice of the lord your god and so it's really important if you and i want to be successful then we cannot do it without obeying the word of god hallelujah we need the word of god 
and as we obey the word of God, then our lives will be successful. Praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, praise God. The word of God, if you want to be successful, make sure. You know, one of the things that I have found as a pastor in dealing with church people is that sometimes a lot of people listen to their friends rather than obeying the word of God. Listen, <laughs> in this life, okay, it's, uh, let me put it politely. It's good to have a friend, but everyone will give, you know, or will account for his own life. That is also why God has given you wisdom. Did you hear me? So uh, make sure. That is why when you come to Bible study, we give you scriptures so that you yourself will know uh, what God is saying. And in the book of Matthew chapter 7, as you read from verse 24, the Bible says that, you know, this is Jesus speaking, and he's speaking about two people. And Jesus is saying that one built his house on the sun, and the other built it on the rock. And when storms came, the one that built on the sun was washed away, and the one that built on the rock, praise God, stood firm. Now, when you are narrating it, you know, the rock is symbolic of the word of God. So when you build your life based on the word, you will never fail. You will never sink in this life. That is why, you know, you and I must learn to build our life based on the word. If you want to be successful in this life, learn to do everything. So point number three, make sure that you run your life based on God's word. God's word will cause you to love one another. God's word will cause you to forgive one another. God's word will cause you to be kind to one another. God's word will tell you, do not cheat on anybody. Hallelujah. Praise God. And these are the things that you and I need in life. Praise God. It is very necessary that whatever we do, we learn to do it by the word. And when we do it by the word, there is no way that we will be a failure. You know, Jeremiah said something in the book of Jeremiah chapter 8. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 8. And in verse 9, Jeremiah have say, was saying that if you reject the word of God, then what wisdom do you have? Hallelujah. Let me read it. Jeremiah chapter number 8, verse 9. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse number 9. He says that, praise God, the wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken. Behold, they have rejected the word of the Lord. So what wisdom do they have? So what wisdom do they have? If they reject the word of the Lord, what wisdom do they have? Jeremiah chapter 8. Now, can, can one of you put the scriptures on for me, please? One of you, any one of you can start doing that. Just put the scriptures on for me. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 9. Hallelujah. Praise God. So he says that you have rejected the word of God. So what, what wisdom, what wisdom do you have? Hallelujah. So please, if you want to be successful in life, don't follow the world. That is why we are Christians. You see, there is a worldly system out there and there is a godless system. I'm teaching you godly principles how you and I can be successful. 
And if you and I learn to do everything that we are doing by the word, by obeying the word, by applying the word, praise God, then our life will be successful. Apply the word in your marriage. Hallelujah. You see, listen, please. Let everybody understand that life has its challenges. As long as we are, we are human beings on planet Earth, uh, there will be challenges in life. Did you hear me? There will be challenges in our marriages. There will be challenges in our finances. There will be challenges even in our health. There will be challenges in our ministry. But as long as you learn to operate, hallelujah, as long as you learn to operate uh, every area of your life based on the word, whatever comes your way, hallelujah, the word of God, hallelujah, because it is forever settled in heaven. Your word, the word will cause you to be victorious. That is why you and I must learn to do everything by the word. I, I, I as a pastor, I, I'm, I'm, I do that. I try as much as possible. There are certain times that, you know, you may be confused about so many things. So I sit back and I say, but what does the word say? And straight away, sometimes the Holy Spirit will lead me to a scripture. And as long as I know this is what the word is saying, that is what I do. Praise God. So if you, you and I want to be successful, learn to do by the word. Hallelujah. Did you hear? Uh, if the word of God says forgive, you know, as, as much as you are hurt, forgive. Hallelujah. If the word of God says pay your tithe, as much as you don't have, do it. If the word of God says give, do it. Hallelujah. And God himself will cause money to come your way. It's as simple as that. It's, you see, life is about us trusting God. Hallelujah. And as long as you trust him, I will be well. Hallelujah. Now, let me move on so that I can finish this. Hallelujah. And then next week, we can do something. So point number four that I want to give is if you want to be successful in life, Make sure that you have a positive attitude towards life. Hallelujah. Make sure you have positive attitude. Now, but at the same time, positive attitude comes by the word. Praise God. You must have positive attitude. Now, in the book of Proverbs chapter 23, Proverbs chapter 23. Hallelujah. God is speaking. And in Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7, he says that for as he think in his heart, so is he. As he think in his heart, so is he. Praise God. So it is necessary that we have positive thoughts in what we do hallelujah praise god praise jesus if a person thinks he's inferior that is how he's going to be if a person thinks i can do it that is how he's going to be so if you want to be successful have a positive attitude towards life hallelujah if you think your marriage is going to collapse, that is how it's going to be. But if you think that despite difficulties, you will make it, your marriage will last. It's going to last. So have a positive attitude. The Bible says, as he think in his heart, so is he. Praise God. Think positively, knowing that the Bible says that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Hallelujah. Through Christ that strengthens you. 
And if, if God himself have created you to be successful, there is no way that he would like you to be a failure. He will strengthen you and cause you to be successful. So think, align your thoughts with the way that God himself sees life. Hallelujah. Now, in the book of Philippians, Philippians, praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That is what Philippians chapter 4, verse number 13. Philippians 4, verse 13. He says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And if you believe that, you will have a positive attitude towards life. Besides, you also need to see that in the book of 1 John, chapter 4, verse 4, the Bible says that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. See life from that perspective, that God himself is in me. And as God himself is in me, though I am feeling seeing challenges, though there are difficulties out there, but I have a positive attitude that because God is in me, I will overcome. I will win. Hallelujah. Now, you and I know the story about God sending 12 spies. When they went, you know, 10 of them came back and said, no, 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 we can't do it. And in fact, as they said they can't do it, they also corrupted the whole camp for them to believe that they can do it. But what I'm happy about was the fact that when two of them, Joshua and Caleb, when they had a positive attitude that they can make it in life, uh, God used the two, praise God, plus the new generation, and they went and they captured the land. Did you hear me? Whereas those who were saying, no, we can't do it, we can't do it, they all died in the wilderness. So if you, you and I want to be successful in life, we need a positive attitude towards life. Positive attitude and think the way God sees us. Don't see yourself as a grasshopper. Don't see yourself as me, me, me. What can I do? Eh? Praise God. See yourself that God can use you. See yourself that I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. See yourself that the Holy Spirit is in me and the Holy Spirit will help me to overcome challenges and difficulties in life. Praise God. Now, in the book of Numbers chapter 13, when you read verse 30 to verse 33, hallelujah, verse 30 to 33, you know, the, the, the children of Israel, it's not the enemy, this is what, it's not the enemy that was saying that, oh, you are a grasshopper, you are a grasshopper, but they themselves, they look at themselves and they said that we are grasshoppers. And because we are grasshoppers, we cannot make it. Now, Numbers chapter 13, verse 30. Uh, uh, as we read, okay, let, let, let me jump, let me jump. Let me read verse 33 for the sake of time. Hallelujah. There, there we saw the giants. The descendants of the Anak came from the giants. And we were like grasshoppers in our own sight. And so we're in their sight. Did you see? So it's not the enemy that was saying that they were grasshoppers. They themselves, they themselves were saying, <laughs> we can't make it, we can't make it because we are grasshoppers. And, and from today, huh, start thinking positively. That yes, I can make it in this life. Hallelujah. 
whatever the difficulties, whatever the challenges out there, this great God that I said, this great God who created the universe, who created heaven and earth, will cause me and help me to overcome the challenges and the difficulties that are out there. So our attitude is very important. Have a positive attitude. Not only must you have a positive attitude, but you must also have a winning attitude. Hallelujah. I have a positive attitude and I have a winning attitude towards life. Hallelujah. Praise God. In the book of First Corinthians chapter 9, First Corinthians chapter 9, hallelujah. This is, this is Paul, the apostle, hallelujah. In verse number 27, hallelujah, praise God. Oh, let me start from 24, verse 24, 1 Corinthians 24, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 to 27, he said, do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one received the prize? Run in such a way that you will obtain. Hallelujah. So that means you must have a winning attitude. That I'm running. I don't want to be a failure. I'm running and I know <laughs> I'm going to win. Have that mentality. Hallelujah. And then he said, eh, eh. And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we an imperishable crown. Therefore, I run not with uncertainty. Thus, I fight not as one who bear, who beat the air. So, the more that Paul is telling you that life is said that. Praise God. You must face life having positive attitude, having a winning attitude, a winning attitude that I'm going to win. I'm going to make it. I'm going to win. I'm going to make it. Hallelujah. And in fact, when you do that, passion will rise out of you to give you inner joy, inner strength to be able, hallelujah, to move on. And I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, you will be able to, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It's very important. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus Christ. Very, very important that you are not learn to do that. Oh, I enjoy teaching. <laughs> Praise Jesus. And the next point uh, that I want to give you hallelujah is talking about attitude actually is still in the same attitude you must have an attitude of persistence hallelujah an attitude of persistence persistency means you are at it you are at it whatever god has lay on your heart to accomplish hallelujah if you want to be successful be at it be at it now for example let me give you an example here we in christian hope even though in pandemic uh, in the pandemic a lot of a lot of churches they shut down they do here but we didn't we press on every sunday we open and we were pressing on we were pressing on today i have friends that they, they can't find their their church members. Did you hear? At least we, we have lost some. Did you hear? But at least we have we, we also have some to start church with. Did you hear? Hallelujah. And what helped us, we what helped us was persistent. Though there was a problem out there, but we persist. We persist. We persist. And so that is what we call persistence. So if you want to be successful in life, be persistent. 
when it's raining, you are there. When when it's when when it's snowing, you are there. When it's cold, you are there. Praise God. It's very important and is is all part of attitude. When you have that kind of attitude and you bring it to life, there's no way you can fail. Do you hear? Even 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 if 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 your your whole household <laughs> is the demon headquarters. Uh, if, if evil authors are there, eventually they will leave you alone because you have a mentality whereby you are, you persist. You have that mentality that me, <laughs> I, I will give, I, 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 I'm not going to give up. Oh. I'm not going to give up. I'm, I, I'm pursuing, I'm pursuing, I'm pursuing until I win. Now, um, uh, uh, David was such a character. David was such a character. When you read Psalm 18, he said something that <laughs> I had pursued my enemies. Neither did I give up until they were all destroyed. Did you hear? That was David's attitude towards life. Praise God. He said, I have pursued my enemies. Neither did I give up. In Psalm 18, verse 37. Psalm 18, verse 37. And so when you put this together, you will see that he had a mentality, he had an attitude of persistence. Hallelujah. That he will always persist, 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 persist until, hallelujah, breakthrough comes. And, and if you and I want to be successful, we have to accommodate it in our life. Hallelujah. And alongside persistence, there is also another word called consistency. Consistency. That persistence means pushing. And consistency means, hallelujah, you are always constant. You are always out there. Praise God. You are always consistent. You are... Uh, uh, there is a guy that I know, uh, praise God. This guy is really good, but he's, he's not consistent. To do here, he's not consistent. And so I, I, uh, I have double mind about him. In, in life, it is very really important to be consistent. Consistent means <laughs> You are, uh, you, 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 I'm, 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 I'm there. I want, I have the eagerness. I have the eagerness. Hallelujah. You know, some people, sometimes they touch this. They leave that. They go and touch that. They go and touch that. So before you, you look at them, their hands are everywhere. They've touched so many things and none of them, you know, is meaningful. Praise God. So if you want to be successful in life, that is why purpose is very important. Identify your purpose. Identify where God wants you to go and keep pushing and keep pushing. Always are it. Always are it. Eventually, hallelujah, any resistance will be broken and you will succeed in life. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let me move on. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. I spoke to you, point number one. Uh, praise God. I said, if you want to be successful, let God be with you. Make sure God is with you. Point number two, we spoke about purpose. Hallelujah. Praise God. And point number three, we spoke about making sure that the word of God, hallelujah, you operate everything by the word. And point number four is attitude. Have a positive attitude towards life. Hallelujah. Praise God. And alongside, you know, uh, having a positive attitude comes in, you know, winning attitude, persistence, and consistency. It's very important that you have this. Hallelujah. Now, 
Praise God. Point number five. Please take what I'm giving you really serious. It will help you in life. Point number five that I want to give you today is that make sure you are self and uh encouraging make sure that you learn to encourage yourself hallelujah there are times that nobody will be out there to encourage you did you hear me there are times in life that nobody will be out there to encourage you so you must learn to encourage yourself praise god you must learn that, hey, I will learn in this life. If somebody encourage me, that is fine. But if nobody encourages me, I'm, I will encourage myself. Now, in the book of Joshua chapter 1, go back to Joshua chapter 1. And God, this is, it. This is God speaking to Joshua. In verse number 6, God is speaking to Joshua. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> sometimes your husband will not encourage you. And sometimes your wife will not encourage you. And sometimes even your pastor who should encourage you, maybe <laughs> by the reason of his own trouble. Hallelujah. He, 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 he may over, overlook that I have to encourage you. So that comes to self-encouragement and you must learn that in this life if you want to be successful you must learn to encourage yourself hallelujah joshua chapter one hallelujah verse number six today i was talking to a pastor <laughs> a pastor called me from us and we were talking and everything is like i, I was in the same page with him and whatever was in his mind, I was speaking to him about it in ministry. I was saying that, I was saying that. And then he said to me, hey, I told you, I, it's like, uh, you have put the, I have put your words in my mind. And I said, no, no, I've, I've learned a long time to be self-encouraging. That's why I'm telling you all these things. So in life, you must learn to be self-encouraging. So God is speaking to Joshua and he said, be strong and of good courage hallelujah the word good courage here god is telling him that sometimes you need to encourage yourself for to these people you shall divide as of inheritance the land which i swore to your fathers to give them only be strong and very courageous hallelujah really courageous and you 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 and you may observe to do according to all that and, and which I, I have shown and you will be of good success which i've read to you hallelujah so it is so important that in life we will be self encouraging now you know the story of david when david in the book of first samuel chapter 30 david went uh you know he was going to fight a war and then later alongside the philistines but they didn't allow him so he came back and when he came back that is when he realized that when they left town the enemy too have come and have taken everything that belongs to them Praise God. Everything. But uh, what made even the situation really worse was that his, his, his crew, his church members, they rebelled. Hallelujah. And they, were, they said, let's turn him. Let's turn him. Praise God. But the Bible says that. And David encouraged himself hallelujah praise god amen now first samuel chapter 30 verse 6 now david was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him 
because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his son, his daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord. Now the word strengthen himself means he encouraged himself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus Christ. Uh, first Samuel chapter 30, verse 6. And David encouraged himself. And so you and I, if we want to be successful, we need to learn this. That there are times that we will hear, you know, criticisms. There are times that people will gossip. And all these are painful. Hallelujah. And sometimes they will criticize you when you are doing good, not when you are doing something evil. If you are doing something evil, you know, then you will say, oh, that is fine. But you are doing something good and people will turn against you. They will gossip about you. They will criticize you. Hallelujah. Which if you are not careful, you might look at it and say, no, no, no. Uh, that's it. I quit. That's it. I won't do that anymore. Hallelujah. But you must learn that if you know what you are doing is the will of God, then learn to encourage yourself. Be self-motivational. Hallelujah. Praise God. Learn to encourage yourself and move on. See, look at what has happened to David. Really painful. Perhaps even some of them, they lost only one wife. But David lost two. <laughs> Praise God. And lost more children. But the Bible said he encouraged himself. Hallelujah. He learned to encourage himself. And as he encouraged himself, he was able to move on. Today, I pray that whatever challenges that you are facing, whatever difficulties that you are encountering, Learn to encourage yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when you encourage yourself, you will win. Uh, there's a story in the book of First Samuel chapter 4, talking about encouragement. First Samuel chapter 4, uh, the Philistines were going to fight Israel in a battle. Hallelujah. And then they, they realized that the Ark of the Covenant have come to the battlefield. Hallelujah. And Israel at that time shouted on top of their voices. And when the Philistines heard it, they were discouraged. Hallelujah. Praise God. They were discouraged about what they saw and what they heard. That the Ark of the Covenant, meaning God have come to the camp. Hallelujah. But then the Bible says that they gathered themselves and then they said, let us encourage us. In verse 9, First Samuel chapter 4, verse 9. And then he said, okay, let me start from verse 8. Woe to us who would deliver us from the hand of these mighty gods. These are the gods who struck the Egyptians with all the plagues of the wilderness. So here they are, they are saying that, hey, uh, they, 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 these people fought the Egyptians, they won, they destroyed the people uh, because God was on their side. Now, if God is on their side, we are finished. But if you look at verse nine, he said, be strong and conduct yourself like men, you Philistines that you do not become servants of the Hebrews as they have been to you. Conduct yourself like men and fight. In other words, he encouraged them. They encouraged themselves. And when they did, hallelujah, they won the battle. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so that is, that is how life is. If you want to be successful in this life. Learn, praise God, 
to encourage yourself. Praise God. Learn to encourage yourself. Now, let me add one more. Let me add one more. Praise God for today. Let me add one more. Uh, the next thing that I want you to do as a child of God is that whatever, this is an important point, whatever God lay on your heart to do, be committed to it. Be committed to it. Be committed. So my next key, my next point of being successful in life is commitment. Hallelujah. Be committed. Uh, so many marriages have collapsed because the couple were not committed. When you are committed to your marriage, rain or shine, you are there. A lot of businesses have collapsed because people were not committed. Hallelujah. It is very important that you and I will learn this fact that if we want to be successful in life, hallelujah, commitment to whatever is assigned to us is very important. Hallelujah. Commitment to your church. When you are committed to your local church, you give your all to support the local church to face whatever challenges that come. You support the pastor. You hold his hand. And, and if you are not committed, you will run. Did you hear? If you are not committed, anything, then you run away. Praise Jesus. So if you are to be successful in life, commitment is very important. Commit yourself to uh, whatever God lays on your heart. So the word commitment is very important. Be committed to your marriage. Be committed to your business. Be committed to your children. Be committed to your local church. Be committed. That is how success comes. Hallelujah. Now, if I'm to ask you a simple question, and all of us, we know that Christianity, among all the religions, is the best. Did you hear? We know that. But we also know that Muslims, though we have the best, but Muslims, as you and I look at it, because of their commitment to, to the Muslim faith, hallelujah, they don't even mind killing to protect the Muslim faith. I'm not saying go and kill, or I'm just using as an example. Hallelujah. They are thriving. And they are thriving because they are committed. And sometimes we see Christians, you know, fighting among ourselves. Praise God. So commitment to our cause is very important. Hallelujah. Praise God. So if I'm to define commitment, I would say that commitment is, is, is the inner voice that says to you, you cannot quit now. Hallelujah. No, you cannot leave now. Stay on and push forward. Hallelujah. Stay on and push forward. Hallelujah. Commitment is giving oneself wholeheartedly to a cause. Did you hear me? Hallelujah. That is commitment. So marriage have collapsed because the partners, you know, maybe somebody deceived the other. And the other also thought that Susan So was committed to the marriage before he realized he was not committed. Praise Jesus. And so commitment is very important. We know that our Lord Jesus Christ was committed to what God asked him to come and do. So much so that he laid his life for all of us. Hallelujah. And because of what Jesus did, hallelujah, the church of Jesus Christ is still standing. And he said, I will build my church. 
Praise God. You do hear. And he's building it. That's part challenges. That's part difficulties. That's part problems. And so, if you and I want to be successful in life, let us be committed. Committed to whatever God will say, do. Don't do it partially, but be committed to it. Hallelujah. And as long as you are committed to it, success will come. Hallelujah. Success will come in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, let me, let me leave you here. Uh, we will do part three, and I will add more. Hallelujah. But for now, take what I have given you today. Today, I have given you that in order for you to be successful in life. Hallelujah. Get hold of the word of God. Make sure that you operate your life based on the word. Did you hear? Whatever cha challenges, whatever difficulty, stay with the word. And the word will not fail you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Number, and the point number two that I gave today is have a positive attitude towards life. For the Bible says that I can do all things. So see yourself that, hey, I'm a human being. The same spirit that is, or the same ability that the one that was, that I see as successful have. That same ability is in me. Therefore, I can also be successful. Hallelujah. Have a positive attitude. And in having positive attitude, be persistent. Be also consistent. And that will help you. Hallelujah. You cannot be successful in life when you are not persistent, when you don't have consistency. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then we also spoke about having self, you know, encouragement that you will encourage yourself that at times that sickness will come you know encourage yourself hallelujah that i will live i will not die i will not bow to this so self-encouragement is very important to success if you want to be successful in life praise jesus christ hallelujah and lastly for today commitment we spoke also about commitment. Hallelujah. Commitment to everything that God will lay on your life or on your heart to do. Be committed to it. And once you are committed to it, then you will be successful. Hallelujah. God bless you and thank you for tuning in in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, if you haven't shared already, do well to share so that people can be blessed as they hear this teaching in the name of jesus christ hallelujah press your share button and share and share and god bless you hallelujah we will continue with part three and then i will give you all the stuff amen amen, amen. hallelujah god bless you god bless you i love you in the name of jesus I love you with the love of the Lord. And I want you to know that Jesus is Lord over every situation. Jesus is Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I also want you to know that God is good all the time. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And thank you for tuning in, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I love you. I love you. Bye-bye, everyone. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bye-bye, every one of you. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus is more Sweet than gold. Hello, Paul. I believe you are enjoying yourself. God bless you, Paul.
Thank you for tuning in. Micah James, thank you for tuning in. Every one of you, God bless you. God bless you. Naomi, God bless you. Sister Hattie and family, God bless you. Amen. Every one of you, God bless you. I love you. Amen.